Namo Amida Bu. The true teaching on Amida Buddha and his pure land by Reverend Joshua Adrian Salia. Forward. This book is a long-term project which was begun a few years ago as a reaction to the appearance in the international Sangha of some divergent views which threatened to destroy the chances of many people to listen to the genuine Amida Dharma. It is also a work in progress, and the reader can expect that I will return sooner or later with new additions and improvements. As we all know, the Dharma is the second treasure of the three treasures, Buddha, Dharma and Sangha in which we all take refuge when we become Buddhist disciples. Simply stated, the role of the Sangha is to secure a genuine transmission of the Dharma, as it was taught by Shakyamuni Buddha and the masters of our tradition, so that we can all receive faith, Shinjin, and attain Buddhahood in the Pure Land. Without such a proper transmission, there is actually no Sangha and no possibility of liberation from birth and death. That is, no chance to become Buddhas ourselves. More than this, the Dharma is the supreme medicine given by the Buddha, the supreme doctor, and in receiving it, we must have the attitude of humble patients whose health and salvation depend totally upon the doctor's prescription and proper administration of the medicine. If we are priests or teachers, we simply cannot be careless with people's salvation from birth and death. Just like a good pharmacist, does not give poison to those who come to him looking for the medicine prescribed by their doctor. As long as we ourselves are not doctors, that is, enlightened beings, Buddhas, we should also not change the medicine, that is, the Dharma, but instead act as the good pharmacist and give to others exactly what the doctor has prescribed. Truly, Amida Buddha, Amida Dharma is not our property, and in dealing with it, we should act only as transmitters, not creators of the teaching. This is exactly what I'm trying to do in this book, to show the true teaching about Amida Buddha and his pure land, while also counteracting some of the most widespread wrong views of our time. Generally speaking, there are two main categories of wrong views which should be discarded by the followers of our school, eternalism and nihilism. Among the first category, there is the belief in an eternal creator God, while among the second category, there is the denial of life after death and rebirth, as well as the denial of the actual existence of transcendent Buddhas and their realms, including Amida and his pure land. Both appear in various forms in the international Sangha, and both must be counteracted by any sincere follower, and especially by those who are responsible for the correct transmission of Amida Dharma to others. In this book, I will treat these categories of wrong views in the two parts. Firstly, the true teaching on samsara, and secondly, the true teaching on Amida Buddha and his pure land. The two parts are also interrelated, with the first serving as an introduction to the second, and providing some general knowledge on the samsaric worlds, karma, Buddha nature, nirvana, etc., that are very important in understanding the teaching on Amida Buddha and his pure land. Thus, while hearing the Buddha's teaching on samsara and the pure land of enlightenment, the genuine aspiration to escape from the first and the wish to be born in the second might arise in the mind and heart of the reader. If that happens, then the efforts of writing this book were not in vain. I'm very grateful to Shaku Shinkai, Tai Kampos, for proofreading the English manuscript and for providing me with valuable suggestions. Nama Amidabu.